name is Ben Kuss, and I'm with Big Fix Incorporated, and I'm the Senior Director of Technology. Today we're going to be talking about lowering computer power consumption. Specifically, we're going to be talking about how to eliminate wasted electricity for computers. One of the best ways to illustrate what I mean by wasted electricity is to look at the computer power consumption over a one-year period and see how much power a computer actually uses. So, if you have a computer that's on for the whole year at full power, it tends to use around 1,200 kilowatts of electricity. And depending on how much you pay for power, that goes to about $120 or about 1,600 pounds of CO2 that's created just to make that power. So where do these numbers come from? We're using industry averages around how much electricity a computer or a monitor uses. These numbers will vary significantly, but it's generally in this range. In addition, we're using CO2 stats from the EPA over a year period, which tell us that when you generate one kilowatt hour of electricity, it turns into about 1.4 pounds of CO2. And for comparison, a car on average will create about five tons of CO2 from its exhaust, and you'd have to plant roughly an acre of trees to absorb somewhere around four tons of CO2. So bear these numbers in mind as we go through these statistics. And to go back to our spectrum, in a standard work week of about 40 hours, a person needs to sit in front of a computer for about a quarter of the total time of the week. If they were to turn their computer off at that when they go home every day, you'd find that they would use somewhere around 300 kilowatt hours, which would cost them about $30 and spit out about 400 pounds of CO2 to generate that power. Most people don't like to turn off their computers because they have to go through and turn them on in the morning, which takes time, and they lose their applications that are open. So computer manufacturers invented what's known as low power mode. And in low power mode, computers will use significantly less power than in full power mode, but still a little bit. So if a computer is on during the work week and then is in low power mode for nights and weekends, it will use somewhere around 500 kilowatt hours, cost about $50, and spit out about 700 pounds of CO2 to create that power. So this area here, from the low power mode to the 100%, is the area that we call waste. And the reason why is because the computer is sitting there, it's, it's using power, nobody's sitting in front of it, it's just pure wasting of electricity. So why don't companies use the low power mode? It seems like a great thing to do. And the reason is that there's some very serious complexities around implementing low power mode in any organization. The first is that users will go through and disable their power settings. It's very common. Most users find it annoying that the screen will turn off or their computer will turn off when they go away to meetings. And so they'll go through and they'll actually disable the power settings themselves. But perhaps more importantly, IT operations disable power settings very commonly in organizations. And the reason they do that is because when a computer's off, or when it's in low power mode, it can't be updated. So what they do is they disable the power settings for the whole period of time so that they can spend that one day, a week, or whatever it may be to update the computers. So the good news is that there's solutions to these complexities. Specifically, it's possible to centralize power management settings of all of your computers in a company so that they can be set in one area and, and the policy of the settings can be maintained. Second is there's a technology called Wake on LAN, which will allow you to remotely wake up a computer. So if it's time to do things like the security patches and updates, you can remotely power that computer on and then do the updates and then power it down again. So any company that implements these solutions has some significant benefits. Specifically, they have some very serious cost savings. Going back to our numbers here, you can see the difference between a full power computer and a computer that's only powered on during the workday. It can be right around $90. And so depending on where you are on the spectrum, you can save up to $90. And that's significant for any organization. And second are the environmental benefits. So there are tens of millions of computers in the U.S. and hundreds of millions in the world. And if they all implement the power management savings and reduce that waste, then the amount of electricity saved will reduce the amount of CO2 and benefit us all.